Okay, we worked with Ty. Um, Chris had worked with him on a show um, out of practice uh, and said, you know, this guy is so good. So when we did Back to You, uh, we had a, a, a part as a reporter. Um, we cast Ty. I became a fan. Um, and there was no one else in our mind. There is just nobody. He's the nicest person on the planet. He is as funny as anybody and talented as anybody I've ever seen do this. And, and I put him in the same category as David Hyde Pierce and Kelsey Grammer and, um, and anybody else of that caliber. I think Ty plays at that level. Um, he is precise. He just finds what's funny about every single moment without an ounce of bullshit. Now, one minute of actory this or da da da. It's just I'm gonna make this as funny as I possibly can, and I'm and and I'm gonna make you laugh right now, and I'm gonna go give some money to charity, and uh, I'm gonna charm everybody and uh, send you a gift. It's just. So the network didn't want him. Um, they didn't think he, they, they had cast him in a role, in a pilot where he played a dull character. The character was by design the dull guy. Ty, being very good, played the role and made him dull. And the, act, the network said, he's dull. Um, it became a very long, drawn out battle. Um, but we eventually won. We shot a screen test in my backyard of him shooting uh, his son, and uh, and that won him the role. As Ty would say, Phil is a meadow. <laughs> um, he is uh, he's the cool dad. Uh, that's something that I said to my whenever my kids were ashamed of me. Like they didn't want me to drop them off at the party or they, they, they acted a little bit, you know, like as kids do. I would always go to my wife, why are they acting ashamed of me? I'm the cool dad. Like, you know, I have a TV show and I, I dress like them and I listen to the same music. Why, why would? And um, uh, that became a little bit of the, the beginnings of, of Phil. He's the... Um, uh, He's the fourth child, uh, but pure heart. Um, he's the good cop, declares bad cop, and uh, uh, he's, he, his goal is to be the greatest dad in the world. Is he the closest to you, or do you? Well, in the beginning, he w in the beginning he was, um, because a lot of the stories in the beginning were uh, things that had happened to me. And, um, and there were always aspects of Phil in all of us, and all the fathers in that rewrite room, frankly. Um, uh, but I don't know, I eventually have come to realize that I'm really more like Claire, <laughs> and that I'm never happy with that realization. <laughs> my, my wife lives, you know, Phil lives in the moment. You can either fill out the form for the insurance that the kids need for school, or you could go out in the yard and play catch with them. Well, Phil's going to go play catch. Um, my wife's going to go play catch. I'm going to go fill out the form because they need it. Uh, that is a mass generalization of, uh, of that. But, uh, you know, I think in a lot of ways Phil is... Um, I, I, what I hear from, from a lot of, uh, especially women who watch the show, they all love Phil. They wish their husbands were Phil. He seems like, the, in a lot of ways, the perfect husband. Because, yeah, he's a little bit goofy, and yeah, but he's just pure love and fun. And there are times I wish I were a bit more like Phil.